love for cars started when I was a young boy. Uh, my dad owned a golf service station. I used to, when I was very young, would help washing cars. I remember washing some of the cars and uh, there was a 55 Ford just like this that a guy brought in, uh, Crown Victoria. I, I was a Chevrolet guy, I love Chevrolets, but that was one of the prettiest Fords I'd ever seen. And he came in with it and he said, uh, I want my window so clean that when you look out the window, you don't know if the window's up or down. And so it just so happened his mom was with him and she was dipping snuff. He said, you're gonna have to wash this window one more time. Uh, but you did a great job, said the window was so clean, mom was dipping her snuff and she spit out the window and the window was up. And so uh, he gave me a dollar tip. When I was growing up, after my dad died, he lost the service station. Our home was auctioned off to pay the bills and uh, my mom and I had to survive on welfare checks and I got hand-me-down clothes, I got free lunches at school, and it was quite a struggle, but uh, I had a mom that was really deep in faith that told me if I worked hard and I put God first, I could accomplish anything in my life I wanted to. And I sort of put that philosophy in my business plan that I would try to pray for guidance and then work hard and it began to pay off. From bone stock to resto modded, uh, you seem to like all things, a lot of the 50s, 60s, early 70s right, Chevrolets. Right, right. You like stuff that is done very, very nice. Right, that is one right. thing I noticed walking around your right. collection is your attention for detail. And then on the other side, we have more Fords. I noticed looking at them, you know, as we walked it earlier going through every car, you know an awful lot about every mm -hmm. car. It's mm -hmm. not just you just bought it. You, you know how they were built, mm -hmm. the, the workmanship, right, the right. quality that went into them. And you guys do the best, so you have the best buyers and, and uh, just do a great job. It takes good consigners. I yeah, think we yeah. do the best job of anybody of screening the cars and we put a collection together. I like to personally go look at them and really get a sense of the cars and the person selling the cars. Right, right. Were they just something bought and stuffed away or they all started yeah, to run yeah, or they kept yeah, in a great yeah. condition? And what was the theme? And I think you've got a great eye. Mm -hmm. The story that you have of your father with the Gulf Station and growing up. One side's all Chevys, the other side's all Fords. And the modern cars. We'll yeah, go up to yeah, the other garage yeah. and look at some of the yeah, new modern yeah. cars. So I see you also like modern supercars. You have yeah. a Gallardo, a Bentega, a new C8 Corvette, and a Mercedes. Mm -hmm. So this is your driving garage, one of them? Yeah, yeah. I like uh, I like these cars. They don't have many miles on it. These cars are fast. And I love the power and, and the look and everything. The Mercedes, very gorgeous car. That's a unique uh, color there for that Corvette, but uh, when I first saw it, I thought it was beautiful. So, uh, and it looks like the carbon in it's got a bronze to it, yeah, just yeah. like the body color does. I don't think I've ever seen one this color. You have a very diverse collection, but it's all stuff that you love and have a passion for, and you have a very good eye. As we went through here and looked at the cars, you buy quality. Part of the fun I have is going to Barrett Jackson Auction, buying cars. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I, that's part of the chase is, to me is fun. And at my age, I enjoy it. It's just something I enjoy doing. I love the cars. And plus, I'm hoping things go well and that I raise enough money, I can also give away some. I, that's part of my well, life. Well, we sold uh, Charity Cobra for you in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, been very philanthropic, and we thank yeah. you very much for that. That was, I thank you for 
doing it for us. It was great. The George Shin Collection, proud to announce that we'll be selling the cars at No Reserve, Palm Beach 2022, April 7th through the 9th. It's going to be incredible.